Let's look at how to use the library tiles layout at SharePointDashboards.com. This template has the purpose of reformatting your standard documents library list view into a more user-friendly, attractive tiles style layout. In order to use this template, you do need to show the fields listed in the notes section. These are all standard SharePoint fields that are already provided to you. You simply need to make sure that they're shown in your library view before applying this template. So notice that I have name, created by, modified, created, modified, and content type. You can do that by going to the view settings or even from the modern SharePoint list view, if you click on add column, you can do show or hide columns to ensure that those columns are selected. You have different settings which can control how large the tiles are. Um, and there are different settings as far as which metadata is shown below the file name. You can optionally display more detailed information if you want that. Additionally, when you hover over the file, it's also going to show you all of the details. Um, so the user still has access whether those are shown directly in the view or not. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the theme one. So I just click copy template and then follow directions in the pop-up window. In SharePoint, I need to go to the view selector dropdown and then select format current view, then click on advanced mode. In that window, I can simply replace the existing code. I paste in what I have in my clipboard and save. And you can see that the layout looks completely different. Now, if you notice, if I hover over items, I'm going to get a pop-up window, which will give me a description with more information. There we go. So there's information about my PowerPoint file, it says the file size, when it was created, um, who it was created by, etc. And then if I click on the files, it's just going to perform the default action. It's going to open the file. Naturally, if I click on a folder, it's going to browse down through the folder tree as expected. The icon is going to be displayed according to the file type. Image file types, it's going to show the thumbnail preview for you automatically. And that's all there is to it. Uh, another thing I want to mention about this that's very convenient, the number of tiles shown on each row does adapt to the browser screen size. So if I go to a smaller window, you're going to see it um, adapt um, for that layout. So that's a very uh, nice, convenient aspect of this template. You don't have to worry about that. This template is available at SharePointDashboards.com. If you do not yet already use this tool, you can sign up for a free account, which includes 20 free templates. That's easy to do. You just provide an email address and then you'll get your login to use this tool. I hope you like this template. This is a very useful one because you can apply it on any kind of document library in SharePoint and it gives your users a nice alternative user-friendly view and a different way to navigate uh, through their files and document libraries. Good luck.